Viewer discretion is advised. All right, let's do it for you this time. I'm going to use Google Colab and uh, we're going to import the library we need. Okay, so the next step would be creating a model, right? You have, no, are you kidding me? You have to, let's, we have to define the task, get the data, collect data, and analyze it. For interesting example, I guess you will usually do classify dog or cat, but uh, here we're going to do uh, bear versus snail. We're gonna do data collection right now. Let's look for some bears on Google Images. Uh, okay, okay, let's save some images from here and I'm gonna use them as, uh, as training examples. So, now we're gonna look for some snails. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Delicious too. Actually, I don't know if bear meat is good or not. I think I think I have uh, eaten snail before. Maybe I have eaten bear meat. I was fed like a lot of weird shit when I was a kid. All right, now I have ten images of bears and nine images of uh, snails. Next step, we need to upload those uh, images to this machine because it's on my. Uh, on my desktop right now, so I'm gonna try to create some folders. Now, uh, all our training images uh, have been uploaded to the cloud and ready to be read. We're gonna need to swap the blue and red channel beside the image too, because machine learning model usually is back a fish size. And I'm gonna make this into a function. We can try to read uh, all the images into the memory by walking through the uh, out directory. 11 base images and 10? I mean, I miscounted or something. Oh, I counted starting from zero. Autobots, roll out! We roll! Here we're gonna use uh, a pre built image model from Torch Vision. I want to use something simple. I'm going to use ResNet 18. Now, let's say you want to run it, uh, this model on a single image. What you want to do is you call the forward function on that images. It didn't work. For machine learning model, usually process batch of, of data. So it's, it's, this model is expecting uh, a batch of images and it has to be in uh, the tensor format. If you look at the shape here, we have I uh, have one images. The size of the image is two hundred something, and three channel red and blue. But the format that they are expecting is that the depth channel here has to be the second dimension. So we need to change that. So when you read the images in with OpenCV, uh, it is integer value between zero and two hundred fifty five. So we need to convert them into floating point between zero and one. It works now. So this looks like the result is one by one thousand matrix where we have one image and a uh, thousand is the number of image net categories because our model is a pre-trained one on image net data set. Let's look at the model itself. It has a bunch of confluent layers, uh residual block. So the last layer is the classification layer from the image feature to the number of classes. So we have 1000 classes. Now we want a bear versus snail model. So we need like uh, two classes for our model. Okay, we have a bear versus snail model. For example, here, the output will be the score of each class. Let's say the first class is bear and the second class is snail. Let's run this on uh, all our images. Hmm, results look garbage because we haven't trained our model. I'm gonna create a training dataset by combining the bear images with label 0 and the snail images with label 1 as this is our training dataset. And you're gonna need an optimizer to uh, train our model. So cast the gradient descent optimizer. Now, training will happen in a so-called training loop. 
edge of direction, we will run the model on the train images, compare with the train labels, and update its parameters. Pay close attention because this is the meat of the video, this is where the magic happens. So this is how each iteration is done. First we need to reset the optimizer, then we set the image model to train more and run it on the training data. To evaluate how good the result is, we're going to define a loss function that compare the result with the train labels. Uh, because we are doing classification, the standard loss for this task is cross entropy. The loss is the same because we haven't been done any uh, update to the network yet. For that to happen, we need to call loss backward for it to perform a gradient back propagation. And then we're going to call optimizer step. Okay, it's working, the loss is going down. And by the way, the loss like represent the performance of the network. You could see the loss value going down, so the network is getting better and better. If the loss like have stuck at similar range or similar value, then something wrong with your training. Now here's the loss, uh, the value category cut very slow, We're gonna increase the learning rate. Okay, that's better. Loss value is small now, so our network should be really good. We're gonna go back to the previous step and run our network on the image again and see what the result look like this time. It did well on all 11 bare images using the score of the first class is bigger than the score of the second class. Now let's change it to snail. Great, right, it's look good. Ooh, is that a bear? Uh, screw this. So last step, we're gonna deploy our model. Actually, we're just gonna run the model on some new images. Let's find some new bear image. New bear and then see if uh, our model will work. Alright, look like it works. It's a bear. We classify this as snail. This look like a polar bear. They couldn't recognize the polar bear. God damn, this model erases.